All right, I'm making a quick video or whatever to set the record straight with a certain somebody who continues to keep coming to my page and harass me. This is why I snapped out on him the last time, and he going to continue to get the same treatment every single time because he's fake and he's false, and I'm tired of the things that he say. And he continued to stay on my page and think that I'm just going to sit there and tolerate him talking anyway about my God. I don't think so. Um, here we go. Um, Levert, you have 666 on your forehead and you have demons coming out of your face. Yeah. And I told people that you were Satan, mm -hmm. that the Bible called you Satan, the Most High Son called you Satan. He said that the church will be built upon Peter, and Peter was Satan, okay? He called you Satan. He rebuked you and called you Satan, okay? You are Satan. I tried to help you when I told you uh, last summer when I told you that you had this entity that had gotten inside of you and that I wanted to help you, and I wanted you to come and so I can help you, and in return, you can help me on the land. But instead, you wanted me to sleep with you, and I told you that I belong to the King of Kings, and I told you that I couldn't do that, and you still kept trying. So I'm here to set the record straight um, about who you serve, okay, because you serve Satan, my brother, and in this picture, without a shadow of a doubt, okay. Without a shadow of a doubt. You have 666 on your forehead. You got 666 on your forehead. And not only do you have 666, you also have a demon on the top of your forehead. And a triangle, okay, that appeared on your forehead while you were in this video. Okay. If you look here. 666. 666. It appeared on your forehead. And I already know that it's there. And I already know what you possess. Because you, you talk blasphemy words against the Most High. And because of that, anybody who follows you, they're all going to go to hell. So you have it on your forehead. This is the original picture. Zoomed in. You still see the 666. Okay, also see a triangle and a face. Okay. And um, I didn't create these pictures. Um, these things are already here. You can see these things on his forehead. Um, just coming out of his forehead. Look at this. Entities. Strange lines appearing. It's really, really weird. Demons appearing all in the eye. Yeah. You don't want to believe what's inside of you. Say what's inside of you is a, a more ex, a, a advanced body, a, a, a alien being. You're saying that you're alien. This is what I said, that you had the devil inside of you. Yes, I know exactly what you have inside of you. And I tried to help you. And you denied my help. So... It's up to the creator now to help you because he said I can help you or he can help you. And you dismiss my help because I wouldn't let you come to my place and sleep with me. So therefore, um, that's on you. But don't make it seem like some entity told me about Rodney, okay? I've known about Rodney for quite some time. I've known about Rodney, okay? Rodney is Marlo, okay? And Marlo, okay? Marlo, okay? 
since January 14th, but you're saying some entity told me about this person. This is why I'm setting the record straight. No, I learned about Rodney from interactions from over a year worth of interactions with him. <clears throat> he tried to make me believe that he's somebody named Marlo Seaton, but I knew it was Rodney. So this is what I said to him. Okay, so this is going to prove this is not no one else, okay, who told me this. Only the Holy Spirit is what led me to know because of the same words or what people say. And this is how I know that they're the same person. I said, he told me, he, it says, he said, he told me to tell you to go to that sound program and say, don't be scared, 11. When you reverse it, it will say November is the exit point. He says this is only meant for you and him to know. But if this was only meant for me and him to know, then why would he be sending it to you, Levert? Right? Okay. And I say, I have to hear your voice to know your real computers post. And so does a guy named Rodney who pretends to be other people. I know exactly what it means. And yes, he's very close to me. And then, so then, of course, you know, I sent a, he didn't say nothing because I didn't give out any information. And he said, that was the message. And I said, well, I'm sure I'm paying the tree people. What do I do? I can't lie to them, and they come from a long way. So then he says, Mary, 2019 is important. The father says Rodney was misguided. He originally came to you because he felt a connection with you. The enemy lied to him and told him that you're the enemy. He has since realized what the truth is, but is ill. Please pray for him and his family. Okay. So, now. Okay. I received this at 3.40 a.m. Okay. Okay. He says, call me what you want, but I have a son. I have a motive for why I pretended to be a woman. I wanted to catch Levert, and I did. I sent you the emails. We may have different beliefs, but one thing is true. We can agree that he is Satan. I was shown what his true form was, and I didn't. it didn't look like what he posted. And so... Um, I guess he said you get the energy from fear. That's what why you made this world like this. And I guess he the truth sound says, Stop writing me. I know you're trying to put it in my head. I'm so what you're saying, like fake Mary, just like you're fake, but I know I'm not evil and none of what you say about me being evil makes sense. I don't care what you say anymore. Only time will tell you who is telling the truth at the end. I I I've been through too much and shown proof of who I am. And this alien in me is not Satan. He's saying he got an alien in him. Is y'all not seeing this on the screen? Levert is saying he has an alien in him. An alien is inside of him. I told y'all the devil was inside of him. Y'all don't believe me. He's saying it's just the alien. No, it's the devil that's inside of him. Y'all need to believe this. And he's saying it's not Satan. No matter what you or fake Mary say, you both can keep coming against me all you want. It won't change the fact of who I really am. Leave me alone. So. I've been dealing with. Um, all right, I've been dealing with this Rodney character for a long time. Um, here's an email from back in March 11th, 2018, exactly one year ago. How about that? Where he replied to a video called Urgent. Um, I made a video about him. That's right. Urgent, my brother Rodney, was given a revelation of a man child respect my profile okay his name back then was mcgee pride 1986 
Okay, I knew then something was up with his page because his account was always disappearing. This is nothing that the Holy Spirit or anybody told me. This is something that I encountered with this person and been encountering for over a year with this person. So why you want to say that I'm fake? No, you only had a dream because it was meant for you to have this dream. So you can know that you're talking to a man. Straight up. Because what I was saying was true, which makes it effect to who my God is and who I serve. So a year of dealing with this person, Rodney, who I made a video about, okay, who gave a revelation about my son, okay, that was in Bible codes, okay. Mm -mm. The devil is a liar. And I'm not going to let you steal my joy. All right. So, therefore... I mean, like, I could really care less, but I just wanted to, um, the other person was Valea, okay, and I tried, okay, I had left this comment a long time ago, and this was back in September when I told him, Lavert, about Rodney. This is why I am the way I am, because I told him, and he continued to do the same things over and over again. This is why he dug himself, okay? This is why he felt like trash, because he was talking to a man the whole time. The whole time. Imagine if he would have met up with him and it was a man. I mean, can you guys just imagine? I mean, just like really. Okay. The comment was Valea us McFaddy Rodney is a man. He makes several account and plays on people account because all his comments is missing. He still random picks from online. He makes a profile. She or he left several comments, but they always get deleted. And then he or she will resurface. And this, I sent this to him on 9, 10, or, and he commented back, the truth channel. Okay, makes sense. Okay. But I told him back in September, see what I'm saying? So he want to make a video like, oh, I'm just such this. Oh, I don't have to be like this. Oh, she's just so mean. She's so wicked. You the one wasn't listening. I warned you a long time ago. I warned you a long time ago. About this person. Because I seen the person messing with you. And I was trying to help you. Again. Again. A slap in my face. You know what? I'm through. Trying to help you. Peter. You could have been somebody great in the most highest kingdom. But you let the devil. Not Satan. You let the devil. Fly inside of you. You have an alien inside of you, and you even said it in the email. You have a problem where you're trying to get with women. You have 666 on your forehead. I tried to help you. There is no help for you. You are done. You have blasphemed me the Father's name over and over and over again, and you called my father Satan. I pray, I pray for the salvation of your seed. But I told you back in September who this person was. This is a comment that I left on your page. Okay. I made a video out to Rodney 
because he was on my page with the foolishness back in August of last year. Rodney, I'm in, in, in Rodney in South Carolina. Don't come for me. So this Mick Roddy Franco, this is the same exact freaking person. It's the same person. Then this Jesus Christ person. It's the same people over and over and over and over and over again. Over and over again. He likes you and, and then and then when you don't like something, he he switches up. You understand what I'm saying? So I told you that this person was a man. You did not believe me. You kept talking to these people. Um, they played on your weakness. They lied to you. Oh, they told you that they were married. Yeah, they knew everything that you were looking for because you told them on your page. Just like they try to try to talk to me, but I always ignore them because I know what the Messiah looks like because I've seen him already. And this right here proves that I told you and I came to you professionally and you ignore me several times. And then you recently come on my YouTube And I made a video as if I had one wish, right? So here you come, commenting. So, and Yashi Freeman, which is a man, okay, which comments are now little address, the person's deleted the account, okay? So this is what a person said that, oh, he talked to an attorney, um... Said to realize the God of your Bible is the one who trapped us, the ones from the ocean. Me, Tell out, that's why the MF are divided the seas. This person gonna go to hell. It's an alien. This person, Ronnie, is an alien. This person I know for a fact is an alien too. Okay, so this is why I snapped out. This is why I made the video of me snapping out saying Rodney was a man because I tried to tell you and yet you tried to come for me on my channel and I told you don't come for me. Don't come for me because I will come at you hard and I will do everything I say. So it says she talks about Jesus. I don't talk about Jesus. I don't worship Jesus at all. Could care less at all. Yahshua is the person that I'm with. Yahshua is who I'm with. I don't worship Yahshua. I worship the true and living God of Israel, my father. Okay? The creator. Okay? The creator of heaven. But did you know that Yahshua is the one who created earth? Okay. And... He claims it's me, thumbs down all his videos. It's not. This is crazy. It also calls me Satan for seeing my inner self in the mirror. This woman talks to Satan. I talk to Satan, but he has an alien inside of him. And my son, John the Baptist, was the one who said that he can see him. When he look in the mirror, he sees this entity. I asked him about it. And he asked me, how do you know that? Okay. If... If my son wasn't the real John the Baptist, how would he know these things? This woman is crazy deceiving people, crying to make people believe her man. This is crazy. Like, these two came for me on the channel, and this is what happened. L Levert was talking to a man. Levert was talking to a man. Go check out his last video. Such shame. Satan. 
Satan. Go check out Laverse's last video. And you're going to see the fact that he can't keep me out of his mouth. He had a chance to, to have a good friend. He could have had an opportunity to make it back to the kingdom, but he chose to blaspheme the most high in this last body. He does have many copies of himself. Brother Rodney was right about that. That is the truth. This, this I know. He has many. He's like a Mr. Smith in the Matrix. He, he, he takes over people. This is what he do. He'll try to pretend like he's nice or that he's trying to help somebody. Why you have to pretend? Shit, all people do is ever stare at me and, 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 and pray for my downfall. All I do is tell people to live righteously and do unto others as they will want people to do unto them. But yet, I'm wrong. For people to live by the most highest laws and commandments, I'm wrong. My God wrong, right? He wrong, right? No, he not wrong. My God is righteous in everything that he do. In all his works is he righteous. He's very righteous. And none can war with him. And none can defeat him. He is mighty. Who can come against him? I tried to help you. And then you try to blast me my name. Try to call me fake. Instead of saying that you was wrong and I was right and that I've been trying to tell you since August about this pervert that goes on people's channels messing with them. But no, no, you, you, you said I shouldn't go in there spreading lies about Yashi Freeman, about her being a man. And look at here, you had a dream about her being a man and it was a man. How about that? A man. I told you it was a man. Ain't nobody told me that. I've had interactions with this person for over a year. Over a year. So that's how I know for a fact who this person is. Ain't nobody told me nothing. Don't blame that on my God. I got in an interaction with this person, not my God. But my father let me know when this person was doing some stuff. You best believe it. Y'all some wicked individuals. I ain't got no, I got no time, more time for this. I'm done. If y'all want to believe Levert, y'all going to end up with that 666 on his forehead, just like he got. You could, you could put the light all on my forehead. Everywhere, okay? Everywhere. You don't see no 666 nowhere on my forehead. He has it on his forehead. How does he have that on his forehead? How did he get that? How did he get that on his forehead? Because he blasphemed the most high. And it's almost, literally, almost branded permanent. You can literally see it bulging out of his skin. Literally. That is scary. That is scary. If you are following behind this man, you are going to go to hell. You are going to go to hell.